If you need to create a cut contour color, you can go to your swatches, go to new swatch, and the name you're going to want to call it cut contour. It has to have capital C's with no space. This will work in FirstWorks and many other RIP programs. We want to switch it from process to spot. And you can make the color uh, pretty much anything you like if you're working in CMYK or RGB. I like to make a magenta. That's a lot of times a default. Um, if it's in CMYK, a lot of times I like to make them like maybe 99% magenta, um, just so that if you have anything else that's 100%, there's no kind of uh, conflict. Illustrator doesn't care as much, but like a uh, Corel programmer that can get confused if it brings one in and it has a default magenta at 100. So we'll just make the name cut contour in those spaces. A spot color, whichever color mode you prefer, set the color to what you like, and hit OK. Now we see in our palette we have cut contour. We can select our item, go to our swatches, select our cut contour to double check. We see that it is a stroke of cut contour, no spaces, capital C's, and no fill, which is the way we need to have it to work correctly. 